could you describe techniques that you've used to neutralize the effect of bias and this uh, severity? Absolutely. I think um, the, the common thread is recognition and, mm -hmm. and identifying um, the behavior, identifying the common and explaining to the, um, to the person that it is uh, offensive, that it is something that is uh, unacceptable. And, and not just saying that, but explaining why. So, for example, um, uh, I've had uh, cases where um, uh, trainees or, or, or other folks that were not from, uh, um, didn't know the know new has nuances of language, um, would refer to uh, Asian American as Oriental. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure this was done out of out of ignorance and, and, and not out of from a from malicious point of view, but sort of pointing this out really changes the conversation. And from a standpoint of having a, a room of, with a three or four folks who are shocked, they're sort of taking that extra step and saying, well, I think what you meant to say was Asian American. You know, it's, it's, it's a much better, more inclusive uh, um, description. Um, then the conversation changes. Um, and, um, you know, in, when, when it's, it's a fine line between confrontational and being informative. And I think one does not resolve anything by being confrontational, but by definitely pointing things out and, and explaining how one makes one feel and how that may um, reflect upon um, themselves and others um, is more informative and, and we can and make it a learning, the teaching moment. And you're cultivating a relationship. Absolutely. 